so you can meet some of your goals or all of your goals. While we don't have time during this session to actually share work, we do have lots and lots of time to talk with you about your process. And so this is how we do it. We turn on a timer for 20 minutes, and then we work together. And then when the timer uh, has gone for 20 minutes, then we talk about your work and your creative process. So Lolly's gonna tell us how to get in touch. If you should have a question, go Lolly. Awesome. So if you are in the Zoom room with us, you can ask questions by clicking the raise your hand button, which should be in the participants tab, likely on the bottom of your screen. If you have any trouble finding that button, you can private message me in the chat and I can help you out. Um, if you're watching the stream on HowlRound right now, feel free to send us your questions via the Public Theater's Twitter or Instagram accounts or via WatchMeWork's Twitter account, which is at WatchMeWorkSLP with the hashtag HowlRound, hashtag H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. Um, so yeah, those are the ways that you can ask us questions again in touch. Thank you. And thank you, Lolly. And again, I forgot to thank the Public Theater and HowlRound for making our Zoom life our virtual life possible because it it's, makes it real easy and real fun to do and without further ado let's do it 20 minutes here we go
That beautiful sound. Little, little, little. All right. We got, if y'all got questions, we can try to find some answers. Is that um, clapping emoji maybe a question? <laughs> awesome. Okay, I will ask you to unmute yourself. Hello, can you hear me? Ah, yes, yes, we can. Hi, I have been um, doing this with you since the pandemic started and I've uh, finally gotten the courage to ask my question. <laughs> the answer is yes. Yay. <laughs> um, I uh, am mainly an actor and a teacher, but I do write and mm -hmm. I, I love to write. And I actually finished um, a feature length film no, with the help of this process. Uh, it's not made yet, but hopefully I'll get it made. Uh, and now I'm working on something I call uh, Lady Slut Servant Soldier. Oh, great it title. Is a, it is an anti-memoir memoir. Uh -huh. And uh, many years ago, my mother told me we were in a museum and she said to me, you should write a book. And I thought it was, it was kind of weird because, I mean, she knew I wrote a little, I guess, but I'm mainly an actor. And so I just but I never forgot that she said that. So I have so many. My question is, I have so many journals and I've started putting some of this in a document on, you know, on the computer. But most uh -huh. of it is journals. And then and then I'll tear out pieces from the journals that I like, oh. but they're literally probably close to a hundred journals of my, you know, whole life. Sure. And sure. my mother passed away a couple of months ago. Oh, I'm sorry. And thank you. And so now I feel like I really have to write the book <laughs> um, for her more than for me. So I wondered mm. if you had any strategies of how I can take really so much material some of it probably shite but a lot of it may be actually good mm -hmm. um also you know there's a lot of doubt i guess thinking like who am i to write a book which is why I, in my computer it says das book um and that's to just <laughs> remind me that this is a book right You're writing a book you know that like just the the word book kind of makes me you know fall over so I need to, yeah, I know I need to believe in myself more and just F and do it. But um, I, I would love if you had some strategies of how I can take all of this different material and, and. Sure, sure. Great question. Great question. It's, it's wonderful that you, you've already started the process that you've got some strategies already and maybe we can build on the ones that are, they're working. I mean, the major one that you have is you're thinking that you, you, you just got to do it. And it sounds corny, but I, in my experience, activity does encourage uh, the good feelings about what we're doing, you know, kind of leaning back and saying, I don't know if this is the right day makes more of that and leaning in and going, nah, today's the right day. Even if I do a tiny little bit, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever, just to kind of get yourself used to in the habit of doing it, right? So you want to continue what you've already started, continue building the habit of doing it, right? Um, so the, the many pages of many journals, I think it's great that you're pulling stuff out of the journals. Um, in a way, though, that seems, I'm kind of reading uh, kind of a, oh my God, you know, there's a lot of journals, you know? Um, so I wonder... If instead of pulling pages out of stuff you have written in the past, if you have a, a, a new journal page, it, which do you prefer, long, writing longhand or, or on the computer? I mostly write longhand. That's part of the problem is getting what is longhand out of the computer. I also sometimes highlight what I like from each mm -hmm. journal. Well, I, don't always, I don't always pull it out. Um, that was actually a prior, this was probably from years ago. That's what I was doing. Now I do this where I highlight. highlight. Right. I would, so, so how about instead of that too, how about 
starting and uh, you have a new journal. I'm sure you have a journal now, right? I do. So, okay. So on the, on the new page, you know, starting, you know, tomorrow or something, just write like, and this outlines, I don't know if you like outlines or not. I can't, I don't know, but you can just write like things you want to write about. You know what I mean? Things from your past, things from the journals, not that you're going to go and find them. Um, I imagine that they're still in your mind. And what you can start by doing is making a list, like a grocery list. You're going shopping. You like shopping? I mean, um, sure. Certain, certain kinds you know, of shopping. You know, for, for vintage, stuff that, vintage clothing shopping or, you know. Yeah. yeah. On a good day, right. On a good day. <laughs> it's kind of fun. If you make a list and go, these are the things I want to call to mind, put it yes. that way, or like a wish list, you know, and you make a list and in the days that follow, you're going to go through your list. Uh, you, you spend a couple of days writing your list. Maybe you come up with, I don't know, 20 topics, maybe 20, you know, maybe, I don't know. So if that feels good. And then after you've come up with your 20 topics, then you're going to go through and each day you're going to write on one of those topics. You see that I think that's going to be better than looking through your journals, pulling stuff out or highlighting stuff and then having to type it up. You see, so you're going to write up the new stuff and depending on how long it is, I don't know how much time you have every day to spend on your writing. You can write something up. Maybe if it's, you just write a page, like 20 minutes, you write, and then you can type it up in the same work session. And you can have something with a header that says, you know, do you see what I mean? Yes. So you're starting fresh using your old, your quote unquote old material, but you're starting it with fresh eyes. That'll help it be manageable, I think. Um, cause going through old, old notebooks is, is, is a lot of work and that's too much work. It's too much work. What if there are some things though, in the last, I would say year mm -hmm. that is in these newer journals that I do want to include. Well, you could go through your, then you could go through and pull them out. I, I would say if it's like, if it's like, uh, I don't know, this is pretend you bought a, you, you, you found a cat and you, 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 you know, in the past year, the day I found my cat, you can just write the header the day I found my cat and just write it fresh, you know, instead of going back, finding a hundred pages of not the day I found my cat. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Oh, okay. I mean, it, it just takes a lot of, you know, um, so you can just be, be specific in, in your list, in your wish list. Yes. That's, a, that's a way. If you want to go back to your journals, by all means, you know, they're your journals. It's your process. I just um, encouraging you to just have a fresh start on it because it's yeah. a lot of material that you'd have to go through. Yes. What about the what I already have typed out? Because that's over the course of probably the last five or six years, too. Great. So how much do you have typed out? Um, I think it's about 35 pages now. Great. Great. And can you it does it would it fit under one or more headers? Sure. Yeah. I mean, would it be would it for example, would the day I found my cat be in there and the day I, you know, sold my car, what I'm just making up stuff. You know what I mean? There's probably more than a, a couple headers, but great. Yes. So, so what you do, you can go backwards, just like when we do something and then we put it on the list so we can cross it off, put those stuff, look at your material that you have, think, oh, there are like seven headers here. Great. Put them on your list and then cross them off. Hooray. Oh, yes, yes, oh yeah. 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 And you can even go through and like divide them up into different like if each is like four pages long or something like that, you can divide them up as if you had just done them. You know, that can give you a sense of like, wow, okay, I've got some forward momentum. Yes. Oh, I like that idea. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Sure. And I, check back in, check back in by all means. Yes, I, I will. I'll be, I'll be here. Okay. <laughs> I'm a big fan too. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you so much. Wow. Thanks so much for your question. It looks like we have Matthew up next. Hey, Matthew. Good afternoon. So good to see you and uh, all these familiar faces and uh, have a, a short question here. Um, in terms of 
how clear to make the path for uh, the audience, for the reader to move forward. Um, I've had some res- some wrestling where I feel like I've kind of made the path clear for uh, the readers to get a sense of where I'm headed and what things mean. And then the work is misinterpreted um, and tangentially, but still related is the idea of the obscure reference um, where to me, it seems like if I have something obscure, I'm referring to, it actually can uh, enhance the power of what I'm saying, but I, I think less people are going to understand it. And how do I, how do I find that, that happy balance of that clear path so that the audience is coming along with me and also mm-hmm. uh, weighing how obscure a reference I can use and, and how to handle that balance of maybe more power versus less people getting it. Mm-hmm. Oh, great question, Matthew. And is this, a, a, are we talking about a dramatic work or a novel or what are we talking about? Uh, this is poetry. Um, poetry, okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I, and I'm guessing it's poetry that you imagine that you plan would be read uh, like in, in some kind of, you know, like a one-on-one experience by the reader in the privacy of their own privacy? Um, it'll either be that uh, with a, a published collection or uh-huh. um, or read. Oh, wow. like I, I work in uh, television and I'm in the process of uh, creating at this point about half a dozen different uh, realizations right. of these uh, different great. works. Great, great, great. Okay, okay. I remember. I remember because you were doing like online, like video stuff you do also, right? Is that right? Oh, exactly. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, well, you know, I mean, you, you work in television, so you know. It, I mean, I, I think a, a novel, we have more, uh, we have more room to be obscure. Like if you think of like, um, yeah, Finnegan's Wake, you know what I mean? The reader can, she can put down the novel at any moment, you know, and go look up what is, what is Joyce talking about? You know what I mean? And, and, the, and Joyce, the reader, the reader of the novel is afforded that. Um, and the, the novelist is afforded that, right? With a play or a TV show or, a, well, TV shows are a little different because of course the, now these days a viewer can always push pause, you know, they can get up and look something up or go to the bathroom or take a brain break or a bathroom mm-hmm. break or whatever. Theater, it's very different. When you're reading your work aloud to an audience, it's very different. And so you have to gauge how comfortable you are with people you know, here we are leaning in Ah, while we're holding on, we're holding on. And then you, you start, you give us one obscure reference and two, and maybe some of us are, Mm. you know what I mean? And then we're out. And if you're okay with that, and then we're like, "Mm." Uh, and then maybe, and then some of us get up. If you're okay. And and I'm not saying that's something you should guard against. Not at all. I'm saying Mm. that that's something that we who write, for live audiences have to think about also i mean it, you, in tv too bro you know you we got to think about it in tv we write for tv we have to think about that too but but not so much in theater um we we think they're a captive audience but they're not mm. they can leave and in tv you know the vote they vote we vote with our remote so it's how it's what yeah go ahead go ahead go ahead sorry is it common to have something that you expect people are going to understand and then when it it gets out there that you find that uh people actually might not understand something that seems obvious to you because i'm i'm having a little bit of that yeah that's kind of that's hard that's hard um uh you know there are so many different there are so many people in the world at this point and so many takes on you know, if I say brown, some people are going to go, yeah, I'm down with brown. Some people go, what are you talking about, brown? You know, you know, eh, mm. I didn't mean that. I meant brown, you know. So mm. e- e- there are a lot of folks out there with a lot of s- strong opinions. The hot take is very popular these days. So people don't digest before they comment on what they've eaten, you know, but that's culture. Mm. Um mm. I got to, you know, I think, you know, you know, I would sort of not worry about it so much. You know, if you're being intentionally obscure, that's one thing. But if you think like you're just telling a story and it gets misinterpreted, you know, I think that's part of the the game, part of the price, you know, you know, not to worry about it, you know, Mm -hmm. you know.
Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thanks, man. Anyone else have questions? Ooh, looks like we got a hand, Shelly. Hey, Shelly. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Good day. Good day. I got the sunshine in my face here you and I can hardly see. But it's, I, it's such a pleasure to be here. And every time I come here, someone asks a question that's in my heart. Oh, and, right on. and it was, I've, uh, so far, there's been two questions asked and I got so much out of both of them. I'm going to ask a question just because no one else was asking this question. And today I sat down to write and it was like constipation. Mm. I was not in the flow at all. Mm -hmm. And it's the first time for me that mm. I, in working on this book mm -hmm. that also I have, I'm, I'm writing about all my travels because I'm I'm a I'm a traveler and have had amazing experiences and I just finished the hugest chapter that was just I, I couldn't stop I sat down and, and every time I would like oh I have to go make dinner now oh, I have to go you know I would pull myself away from the computer and I'm uh -huh. starting a new chapter now which gets juicy as I go but I have to do all the preamble mm -hmm. and it was so difficult to write today and it's the first time that I've had that experience with it. Usually because I'll, I'll sit there and it, eventually I'll get there. Maybe I would have if we had written for a half an hour, I would mm -hmm. have gotten to the place where it started to flow again. Mm -hmm. So as an experienced writer, as a, mm -hmm. as a, uh, our, as our teacher, what, what, what do you do when you're constipated? You know, what is, what, what do you uh, recommend? Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's such a great question. Oh my goodness. Um, eat broccoli. That's what I tell my kids. <laughs> eat some broccoli. Up your fiber. What's fiber? Um, fiber is 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 knowing that difficult or or not less than easy writing days are part of the journey. Mm. You know, so f f I mean, five in this in this you know game we're playing. Um, Fiber would be something to, you will, I mean, we're going to get gross here, but it's okay. We're adults. You want to soften the stools. You want to soften what's hard and won't pass. Right. So that it, so you, you just remind yourself that just to be soft with yourself, compassionate with yourself. This happens. Does it happen? I mean, it's like, welcome to the, the next level, Shelly. You know what I mean? You're leveling up. You're 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 you've graduated to the next level. It's a little might be you might have some difficult days. You know, I mean, if you've ever, I'm sure you have. You know, you meet someone, you think, oh, they're wonderful, they're awesome. Yeah, the first like twelve dates are so great, and then they do something like, ew, they pick their nose or they fart. <laughs> Suddenly, it's like, oh no, you know. And so they remind you that they're human or that you're human or you know okay so just you just again keep putting in the time right um be kind to yourself know that this is what we all go through those of us who make things um you know thank you thank, thank you. you thank you and the sun then you found your light look at you in the light <laughs> really great but great question, really, really great question. It's something that we all um, need to remember. It's something that what is really, I really appreciate that these uh, sessions are being recorded because you guys, is, you all's questions are helpful to those of us gathered today and are helpful for, to people who, who, who tune in, you know, when they're available, which might be on a Tuesday at three o'clock in the morning, you know, and they can watch this and, and they can feel, um, uh, community through through our questions and our conversations, you know. So definitely, 
Yeah, but you know, we all have difficult days. Oh, looks like we have another question, Melania. Hello, Susan. Hello, Hi, how are you, Han? Good to Bye. see you. Good to see you too. I love this opportunity that we have. It's, this is a blessing. It's such a wonderful space. Um, I have uh, my situation is that I am trying to um, to work on this uh, idea for a novel for this uh, fellowship that I am trying to present. Um, mm -hmm. In my first time tr trying to work in something like this, and what I am being is very compassionate with myself, mm -hmm. and I keep writing. But what mm -hmm. I notice that I am having a lot of ideas, different oh. ideas that come. So I write it down, but I put it with highlighting, you know, when when I. Write. Mm -hmm. But I can see now why, and I keep going. Right. Good. I, I want to, as, as I learned here, to reach you know, the, the, right. the finish line so I can come back and see. But right. what I am noticing is that there are a lot of highlighting. And, there, and I am a little scared now because I say, okay, I keep going because I need right. to reach some, a number of pages. Mm -hmm. So I keep going, I keep going. My question is, because I, I am very... I want to go back and see my little notes, but I say, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to mm -hmm. keep going at the finish mm -hmm. line. My question is when I reach the finish line, the, the mm -hmm. kind of finish line, and I go back, how is there any strategy that you can share with me about how to see what is useful and what is not? How do I know? Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I am... I am trying to think about what I'm doing, but at the same time, because I have these voices that I share here, I, and you told me that they are slow. So mm -hmm. I now I know that I see the little bit, we have some tea with the slot, and then I run away, I say, bye. Right. And I give uh -huh. Yeah, so when I come back to all these notes that I am having, is there anything that I can do to, to discern what is better and what is not or mm -hmm. how what can mm -hmm. i do mm -hmm. yeah so that's a good that's a great question again um so how milani how have you been writing this project up to this point H how meaning what are you doing longhand typing in, what in, uh, typing in my computer okay. what is very different from what i do usually that is long longhand, longhand. because i have I, I didn't have the time. And then when I was going to present, they changed the deadline. And right. they gave me one more month. So I, I did it in the computer. It's my first time doing it in, in a computer like the first. Right. Great. That's okay. That's all. It's all good. It's all good. Because we're going to try uh, cross training, I think, could help. So, okay. and it's similar to the, per, the person who was ta talking about her journals, right? So yeah. You're going to switch up the method. So you're going to keep going to the end like this because yeah. this is fast, right? Yeah. Which is good. And you need speed right now. When you get to the end, yeah. which is in how many days do you think you'll get to the end? I think I, I have a, maybe I need 10 days. Okay. I, I, yes. I, I am. I am. In, in fact, I, I have a, because I had a, some kind of chronogram, but I went behind. So I did a, a second one, I called the 2.0. And it's a couple of weeks that I have, it's 10 days because Great. I'm having from Monday to Friday. Two Great, weeks. fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so when you get to the finish line. Yeah. Okay, and, and, and I think it's good. I appreciate that you're saying you're gonna get to the finish line because the, yeah. the second thing you're gonna do is called like the second draft or rewriting. Okay, mm -hmm. so when you get to the finish line, typing i'm sorry i'm looking around for my little thing that i'm going to show you which can't which i can't find because my desk is so messy anyway uh when you get to the finish line you're going to get you know what they look like some index cards yeah and you're going to go through and have your pile of index cards mm -hmm. and you're going to look at your text on the screen See. and you're going to write out on an index card the things that are interesting you know what I mean? So you can actually change what your hands are doing. Okay. Right? 
So you're not going to like print out the document and then type some more. We're not going to do that. You're going to actually take a pile of index cards, right? And, you know, a pen or pencil doesn't matter, right? Yeah. And then just write down, will you, so you scroll through your document. Mm -hmm. And every time you get to something interesting, you write it down. Okay. It doesn't have to be in detail. You just write it down what, what, what you like about it. It's a story point or, mm -hmm. you know, a character, something, bit or whatever. A line of dialogue, anything, whatever it is. Yeah. Okay. And each thing gets a new card. Okay. Okay. Then you have your cards of interesting stuff. And then you put them in order. Uh huh. Then you have something that you can then flip through and tell yourself the story. Wow. And then you're going to boil it down. Okay. I love this. Yeah. All right. So, and that's it's super helpful that you've done it, you know, one way and then you can do it. Okay. Yeah. And let's see what that is going to be like if we can touch base next week or whatever. Okay. I, I, you are. I mean, you, you won't be, you might not be at the finish line by then, or you might be, you might've caught, you know, you might finish in a week. Uh, who knows? You might speed up, whatever, but okay. let's Thank see what you. that's like. Sure. Yeah, sure. But no, I, think I, I like, I like, I like it because I, I, I feel stuck. I, I, but I keep going and, yeah, I good. That I here and I like this. Thing. Good, good, good. And, and yeah, and it helps when you get to the finish line, you'll have a different way. It's like you're running, you're doing a triathlon or something. So you finished running. Now you're going to, you know, now you're going to get on your bike, you know, or whatever you're finished, you know, now you're doing the swimming part and then you're going to start running, which is, it's going to be a different way to use your body. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll see. We'll see how it works, but it's going to be yeah, fun. I will it's going to be will. fun. You're going to at least get to go. If you don't have a, a stack of index cards, you get to go to the store and buy some. Okay. But I have my index cards okay. because I don't. But okay. I can go to the store also. Because... Right. You can go to the store and get some anyway. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. okay. Thank you, Susan. You're welcome, Melania. Thank you. Thanks for your question. Um, Lou, you're up next. Hey, Lou. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hi, everyone. It's great to see you guys. Great to see um, you. I just wanted to check in and say that I'm on tap to make my May 20th deadline that you helped me with a couple weeks back. Not quite there, but it's coming. And so I wanted to thank you for that. I'm really excited. I actually have a date planned with my husband on Friday night. That's how sure I'm going to be done. Like I'm going to hit send and then we're going to like go out on the town. So, um, so thank you for that. Oh my goodness. And this is the one that you're going to send to the publish. You have a, you have a fantastic. Yeah. Well, yeah. well done. Well Thanks. done. What's resonated in my mind. You've talked about crossing the finish line and, um, in a marathon and just like, you know, is it perfect or is it like, I keep hearing that thing you said. So I really appreciated that. It really resonated with me. Wow. I'm just like, just keep going, just keep going, go over the mm -hmm. line, go over the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's great. But I did have a little, uh, maybe not so little, I don't know how big or little it is a question um, that I'm thinking about as I'm making this progress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm noticing that my voice when I write is either really serious and sort of lyric and I write working on memoir and essays mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or it's really self-effacing and if I do say you can't really call yourself funny because you just that's not done so but I believe it to be funny people have told me it's funny uh -huh. <laughs> you, know, you have to say you're funny you're not funny uh -huh. but it's like one of these two things mm -hmm. and I'm I'm interested by it and curious about it just like this concept of like this, the tone of my voice and the different ways that I write and what I'm looking for. And I just was curious about your ideas about voice and writing and when you try on different voices or maybe not try on is not the right word. When you, when you implement different voices for different outcomes or can a writer have different voices and still have a consistent voice? Like, I don't know. I think it's a similar voice the way that I write. I don't think it's like and neither are phony, like both feel really true mm -hmm. to me, but they, I get feedback from people who like my more self-effacing funny voice that they love it. And then when I go a little lyric, this is actually about my agent a little, she doesn't love my lyric voice, oh. but I get great response to the lyric voice and the depth of it and the seriousness of it by a whole other group of people. Not that oh. I'm so widely published, but like when I do share it with people right, 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 right. and they don't always love my self-effacing voice. Cause they're like, Oh, you're knocking yourself down or it takes the, the sting, you know, it takes the hardness out of it. And then I feel uh -huh. like you're, 
so I'm just, yeah, I'll stop talking. It's just like about the voice of, of writing and like, uh-huh. what's the true voice or uh-huh. how do we know when to implement different well, tools in our voice? I mean, Lou, I, 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 from what you say, I, I get the feeling that if you were to only be, choose one of those voices that you'd be less than honest. Mm-hmm. And I know, and this is, you know, here we are in the marketplace or, you know, we're looking at the marketplace and the marketplace, I mean, not, and not to disparage the marketplace, you know what I mean? Um, um, I, I encourage you all to go shopping and, I could, you know, and be published and make money and all those good things. Um, and yet the marketplace seems to want certain things or seems to see certain things as marketable, you know, and, and the whole idea of vo- a writer's voice, I mean, we all code shift. We all talk one way to our mm-hmm. kids and another way to our parents and another way to our friends and another way to our girlfriends and another way to our hubbies. And you know what I mean? We have all these voices and maybe we even have a baby voice. I mean, you know, whatever we got different ways of communicating. There are so many different ways of, of expressing ourselves. Uh, Whitman, Walt Whitman, I contain multitudes. That was his big, I mean, one of his beautiful, uh, things that, that he wrote and you know I'm in a world where we're you know we're 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 uh, you know people are, are non-binary and 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 what, what, are you, what are we talking about can't we can't we accept that a writer might have different ways of expressing themselves mm-hmm. ought we not expand our acceptance of humanity to include the acceptance of an artist as maybe some of, I mean, they also tell you like, Hey, if you write for film, you can only write for film. You can't act or you can't write for theater. You can't write novels. I mean, what is, what is this narrowness of, of understanding when it comes to the artistic process? It's very strange to me. Mm-hmm. So Lou, I think you have many voices or at least two <laughs> and that's okay. I think limiting yourself would be less than honest. And we, we sometimes we have to do that to fit in. But then you won't be your authentic self. And I actually know, think I'm my, a, yeah, sorry. no, please say. I was going to say, I actually think my more humorous voice was a result mm of not fitting in, like it was ended up like it, it's a tool that was evolved by not feeling like I could be myself. You know, it's like it sure. was a, a exercise and sure. get breaking through or something, you sure. know? So it's actually a more defensive voice. I don't think it's less true. Right. But Thank it's, you. but it, it was honed, you know, it's like the image I have is like a knife, you know, it was sure. like sharpened over, sure. over time. The other voice is like the voice that I think I was, I came here with. Sure, like, sure. Sure. And our voices change. Like when we were, you know, 10 years old, our, our vocal cords, it's different now, you know? Mm. And, and mm. when we, if we were to live in other countries or with other people, or uh, when you're on the East coast, you talk in one way. And when you're on the West coast, you know, so yeah, I think it's all valid. And I think as long as it feels, like I said, I mean, we, we're encouraging each other to live in our authentic selves yeah it should apply to the arts as well but you. you know maybe not <laughs> but for <laughs> me it does yay I'm okay. so proud of you thank you, you know, that you were about to cross this finish line I mean it's a huge project and you know I, I just we've been hearing about it for a, a while and cheering wow. for a while thank so we will be you. thinking of you on Friday yeah yeah you so as you much. push send and then you go on a date night yeah <laughs> yeah thank you so much yeah, thank you. that is so awesome thank Thanks. you mm-hmm. thank wow. you for that question we have uh like a couple of minutes left so if we have one more question that anybody wants mm-hmm. to ask we have time or we can all just play with the skin on our faces that's also an option <laughs> 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 Except Matthew. Matthew's like, no, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. There you go. <laughs> oh boy! Wow. Awesome. Well, if, if no one has a final question, SLP, do you have any words of wisdom you'd like to close us out with? <laughs> mm, yeah. Um, 
Maybe not. Maybe not. It's uh yeah, watch out for the news, folks. Mm. Yeah, yeah. There's just there's just so much. I mean, you know, the, we meet people, we get to know people. There's so much love and good energy, and we and those people that we can be honest with and authentic with are are really to be valued. And so many folks these days think that the only way they can get ahead, get by, get through, get around, get over is to lie. <laughs> And it's heartbreaking and, um, and hate is, you know, so, I mean, all the things we already know, but uh, yeah, it's, it's Monday again. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. I so appreciate your questions and your answers and your thoughts and your courage and your resilience and your tenacity and all those good things. So. Thank you all for coming. We'll be yeah. here same time next we week. We will. We'll be here. <laughs> okay. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.